So I want to talk first of all tonight, the, the first topic is probability. So to me, uh, probability is one of the key concepts in understanding statistics. So we all play games of chance, okay? And just, you know, I'm going to ask questions and you can just put your responses in the, in the chat. If it blows up the chat, you know, Kim, you're going to have to let me know and I may have to stop doing that. But just kind of put in there some of the, the, the types of games of chance that, that you all may play with. Um, you know, if you, if you like board games or dice or cards, I'm going to use an example of just simply heads or tails. Okay, so flipping a coin. Um, so what I want everybody to do is if you have a coin handy, if you have a coin in your pocket, I want you to get that out. And we're going to start here with a little, with a little poll here. What I want you to do is I want you to flip the coin. And I want you to then enter into the, into the poll whether you got a heads or a tails. We have 45 people logged in tonight. And it looks like we have about 20 people that have voted. So that's good. About half. Not bad. So I'm going to now broadcast the results. So let's talk about the prob probability of heads or tails. What's the probability? And just put, put your response in there. The pro you, you only have two options. So it's 50-50. So if you noticed here in, the, uh, in our little poll, it looks like it, it didn't exactly go 50-50. We, we had more heads than tails. And that's a really good example. It's not always going to be 50-50. So if you get heads on the first, if you get heads on the first try, now I want you to try it again. And let's see what you get this time. I'm going to end this poll. So what's the probability? So if you got heads the first time, what's the probability that you're going to get heads again? Is it is it still 50-50 or do you have a better chance of, of having tails the second time? All right. So the way this works, you always have a 50-50 chance every time you flip the coin okay and but if you have heads the first time and tails the second time there we go okay so you should see that there's four responses you can have um, and this is how you understand probability what you have to look at is the total number of responses the total options are to have heads twice you could get heads the first time tails the second time you could get tails the first time and heads the second time, or you could get two heads or two tails. So your chance of getting two heads is 25%. The other way to do it is um, it's again it's 50-50, so it's one out of two for the first time, and then again it's still one out of two for the second time. And because you have to do both, you would have to multiply. So one out of two times one out of two would equal one out of four. Okay, so that's kind of how you how you how you figure that out. So if you play dice, it's kind of the same concept, except you have six options. <clears throat> the same thing. You can figure out the probability of you know having you know a one or a two, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go to a card example next. But let's. I have a. I had a friend who used to bet horses, and what he would do is. You know, he, there would be eight lanes on the track, and he would figure out which lane had the lowest um, victories over, over the day. And what, he, what his assumption was, was that because each lane had the equal chance of winning, and because so lanes that hadn't won in a while were, had actually a higher probability of winning than the lanes that had won earlier in the day. And that was actually a failed assumption, okay? So he, he wasn't a very good horse better because in every race, if there's eight lanes on the track, with every lane on the track, there's an equal chance, assuming that the horses are randomly distributed between the lanes, okay? So um, actually with each, each lane, every time there would be a one in eight chance of winning. It's not like, you know, lane eight that hasn't won in a while is going to catch up and actually have a higher probability. But the point is, that's how statistical probability works as well. So when we do testing for differences or when we do testing for relationships, 
what we're what we're doing is we're calculating mathematically the chance that these two groups, for example, are different, or we're calculating whether these two groups, uh, you know, the relationship with the between these two variables could be due to chance or not. So again, with with calculating probability, what you need to know is the total outcome over the total possible number of chances. And again, for those of you that know how to play cards, so if you have a deck of 52 cards, there's 52 cards and there's four suits. So it's uh, eight, um, spades, clubs, diamonds, and hearts. The spades and the clubs are black, the diamonds and the hearts are red. And then there's 13 cards with, within each of those suits. So what is your probability of, if, so if, if the dealer drew you one card, what is the probability of that card being red? It would be 50-50, because half of the cards are red and half of the cards are black. What would be the probability of being drawn a spade? So one of the suit, it would be one in four, okay? Because one fourth, 13 of the 52 cards are spades. Now what would be the probability of being drawn the ace of spades? The ace of spades is one card, one out of 52. So you'd have a one in 52 chance. Now, so again, you can do those with any kind of, if you wanted to figure out the, the probability of being dealt a full house, for example, you can do it. It's pretty complicated. And luckily, we're not going to do that tonight. But that is an example of, of, again, using games of chance to better understand probability. The first time I ever took a statistics course, the professor did as an extra credit at the end of each class, he would ask us to figure out the probability of something like the probability of being dealt four aces. And if it came back with the right probability, we got extra points. In each class, the you know the uh, the type of assessment you know got increasingly difficult. So again, it's kind of a good way to to figure that out and to learn about. It.